What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. All right, guys, so this is week 31 of the um, you know new member orientation Q&A, and now I'm here for you. We just did the, you know, the full walkthrough. Now it's time to answer your guys' questions. So if anybody has any questions as pertaining to what ran today, price action, you know, what we look for, you know, what's going on, what a trend is, you know, why this is pure front side, why this is pure back side, like shoot out your questions right now. And if you're not a member, this is a great time for you to ask any questions. And also I should say, if not a member, 213-458. 5997. Text me and I will show you how we do what we do. I will, you know, help you get started in the club, ask any questions that you need as pertaining to the club. 213-458-5997 and I will help you get started in your trading career and or MIC. So, oh, uh, what's up, Ryan? Trader calls a straight fire. Yeah. If you haven't gotten on a call with any of our team, man, definitely reach out to anybody who you think can help you in your journey, whether you're a long trader or a short trader. We all have our area of expertise. You're going to have access to that, man. You're going to have access. One out of four in those charts will tank. I say APT every webinar. <laughs> yeah, literally, it's funny. There's a running joke that every webinar I give, well, obviously, because it equates to, you know, what's it? 2, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when stocks like to give back. So it, it, it'll probably be TNXP, man. It's looking like it's going to break down. Um, you know, usually one stock, the running joke is because my webinar is the time of end of day reversal that, you know, one stock will really start plummeting. So, <laughs> you know, one of these is probably going to dive like a monkey. This already kind of did though. This gave back most of its move. I hope you guys caught that. And this was just a pump job, man. Just, just a fucking nasty pump, dude. Mike L, is there is there a way to go over the 30% rule confused on the stop loss of the first 30%? Sure, brother. Well, the stop loss, Mike, is really up to you. So let me let me make that, why that's so clear. Let me, let me make that clear. The 30% rule is literally as simple, guys, and, and don't overcomplicate our strategies. Trust me, don't overcomplicate this stuff. Is as simple as if if I am hitting front side, I'm only using 30% of my size. So whatever you want to cut that at, I don't know, Mike, what your level is that you want to cut because it's front side or how much you're risking or what your max daily loss is. That's obviously up to you, but the front side is front side. So like, obviously, if you were shorting somewhere here on this pop, Mike, pay attention here real quick. That would ideally be the ultimate stop out, man. But you're using 30% of your size. And then once it's under VWAP, you can add your size. That's the point. So 30% above VWAP. But if you're shorting, you know, this, like literally just pure front side into, you know, nothingness. And you're just like, man, I hope this is the top. Dude, you got to cut it wherever you feel you need to cut it. You know, don't be greedy, right? But if you have predefined risk, which this is, you know, you put a line there and you say, well, a new high of daybreak is what I'm risking. That's your 30%. You see what I'm saying? Lock Nguyen. If you had to choose only one short setup to trade, what would that be? I know most people say death line, for, but for me, they are so rare and hard to find. You know, man, if you're asking me personally, like literally me directly, Tosh, or, you know, the team at MIC, the team would say probably low hangers or death line as they're the easiest to understand. Mine are truly the SLSs or the specs. And I'll tell you why. Because that's a fucking top. I don't care what anyone says. That is a very, very, very big top. So when a stock is like this, a huge stock that has ran big, it's still kind of front side, but it's day one. And then it has, you know, the death candle and it's giving back a huge ton. I like to hit pops, dude. That's my number one strategy. But for you building an account or for you going from inconsistency or not profitable to consistent and profitable, you need to focus on the low hangers. And what's a low hanger? That's a day two move. That's a day two of specs. I tried to short exactly at 209 into 220 today, but it was banned today. I couldn't get shares for this, unfortunately. But this is the easiest move to build an account, man. This is the simplest, what's it called, strategy to understand as a new trader. Hit 
the day two plays into resistance levels. And number two is the death line. So like if something really did break, so like, you know, TNXP, if TNXP really did break VWAP in 96, or um, if you want to be very safe, you know, 88 is really a solid line too. And then, you know, short the weakness on that, you know, these death lines set up. We haven't had too, too many good death lines lately, but that's just because we're in a super, super bullish market. Nadzer, can someone give out to me for going in pre-market and being greedy? Can someone call you out? <laughs> yeah, get a tab member. Yeah, you need a, you need someone to hold you accountable. If you can't do it yourself, my number one rules is, oh, wow, this is, man, this is so strong, dude. Again, this is why I don't play stocks like this, man. This is just, look at how strong this is. Yeah, you could have gotten a move from here on that stuff, but that's not a, that's not a huge move, right? So like when I saw this, you know, the stuff and then you short into the pop because after a stuff, you always short into a pop. Yeah, you could have gotten a move out of that. But again, like I, I just don't, I don't play those because it's too risky. It's just so front side. I mean, look at it. This is <laughs> all you got to do is pull back. If you're zoomed in and zoomed in some more, you're like, man, this looks good. And then you pull back and you're like, I'm a, uh, that was a fucking terrible decision. You know what I mean? So again, guys, I just don't even attempt stuff like this. Like if, again, if a stock has the range, it's going to use that range. So I don't like stocks with crazy amounts of range. I don't like APTs. I don't like codexes. I like specs. I like TNXP. I like SLSs. I like things like this, man, that like they're not crazy range. And then once the range is over, they're very, very, very predefined by the lines. And that's the easiest way to build an account, in my opinion, not playing APT and not stop, stop, you know, stopping out on codex every 10 minutes. So, you know, follow trend, man, follow trend. You don't want to be counter trend piggies. Go for the piggies, man. There's a reason why Tay is longing things like APT and I'm shorting things like specs. There are criteria and fields that you can excel in. So again, man, like I'm not looking to short APT, man. I just want to stay safe, man. I'm waiting for the specs to top out. I'm waiting for TNXP to death line. I'm waiting for SLS, like, or um, yeah, SLS to top out. I am waiting for the really good shorts. The piggies, they're pigs. They're terrible companies. Um, and you know, once a stock goes over $5, you have a real chance of big money getting in and funds and just people that you don't want to fuck around with and algorithms and things like that. Thanks guys. Really glad you showed up, man. I, I, I love doing these, man. So if you know, we'll, we'll, we'll teach me how to slide into DMs the right way. Oh shit. Okay. That's a whole nother webinar. That's a whole nother seminar. That's a freaking booked live trading event, man. Like we need to make a real thing out of that. that will be, I'll need two hours of your time for that one, but <laughs> next week I'll come prepared. I'll come prepared. I'll, I'll show you guys how to build a Tinder profile if you really need help. I love you guys, man. Uh, until next week. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Edson, Sybil, Marv, literally everybody, man. I really appreciate it. If I can help you guys in just one way, that makes my day. And uh, let's do it again next week, guys. See ya. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.